He's always done what he said. He's been constant for over 30 years. And, you know, I just, he's cured my apathy 100%. I am fully engaged and involved in political process because I believe in what he says and I believe in liberty and freedom, <laughs> prosperity, peace, and ending the wars and bringing our troops home. I live here in Vancouver. I lived here all my life. Uh, raised a Boy Scout. Raised uh, strong in the church, and I, you know, I uh, I love this country. And I found out about Ron Paul in '08, and he's changed my life for for the positive. He's he's really. I mean, he's my Martin Luther King. It's time to end these, these wars. We can't afford them. There are no benefit to us. And that means we need to bring our troops home. The governments can't give us our liberty. The most they can do is to protect our liberties. But our liberties, our life and our liberties come from our creator or in a natural way. It's a gift given to us right. and we should own our lives and we should own the fruits of our labor. But if we assume the government's going to it won't work. I am convinced that the foundations of our liberties and our financial system is very, very fragile. And when you see the laws coming around to say that we can use the military to round up people, when you see the riots going on in countries that are being denied some of their benefits, it gets a little frightening. But where I get the encouragement is coming to a group like this who are excited about freedom and a return to these concepts of liberty. For that reason, I remain an optimist. I believe we can restore America. To the